part three in our investment series. And this week we are looking at the Momentum Investment Strategy. Welcome to the Wealth Nation podcast, a podcast for every mother, daughter, grandmother, sister, and wife, and the men who are smart enough to tune in. The Wealth Nation podcast brings you all you need to know about investments, business, property investments, personal finance, and all around financial wellness. Here is your host, Yolanda Rose. Welcome to the show. As always, I am Yolanda. I am a financial advisor and a wealth coach. And it is my goal on this podcast and any other digital media that I put out is to give you the tips and strategies that you need to manage your money well and to build generational wealth. The Wealth Nation podcast is sponsored by Financial Success Summit 2021. Now, this is a conference that I am putting together. I am getting the top folks in their industry from a property to Bitcoin to formal investments, banking, short-term insurance, budgeting, all of the tools, all of the tips, all of the tricks, all of the strategies that you need to break free financially. I'm getting all these folks together in one virtual room that's happening on the 17th and 18th of April 2021. So if you want to get tickets to this event, Go to the website. It's www.financialsuccesssummit.net and buy those tickets. Tickets are selling for just 99 Rand. And if you use this coupon code for a limited time, you can get early bird tickets. So go and shop for tickets. You're going to get a 60% discount and pay just 40 Rand for two days of power packed financial advice. Use coupon code early bird at checkout. This offer expires on the 31st of January 2021. So today on the show, we're talking about momentum investing. And if you haven't listened to our previous episodes, we're doing a little mini series right now on investment strategies. And the first investment strategy we looked at was the value investment strategy, which is uh, Warren Buffett's playbook. And then we looked at the growth investment strategy. All right. So you can go and check out those two episodes. Uh, before you even listen to this one. But uh, let's jump into what is the momentum investment strategy. Basically, this seems to be an investment strategy. It it seems to be more like a knee-jerk reaction to the market information than anything else. It's basically about selling the shares that are falling in your portfolio and buying the shares that are in an upswing, which can be so tempting to do. But it's very contradictory to what we speak about on this podcast of buying low and selling high. So momentum investing seeks to take advantage of the volatility that's in the market by taking short term positions in shares that are going up and selling them as soon as they show any signs of falling. The investor then moves his money into these new positions. In this case, the market volatility is like waves in the ocean and the momentum investor is sort of sailing on those waves and he's sailing up the crest of one and then as soon as that crest of the wave drops due to gravity, he jumps ship to the next wave. So the momentum investor looks to take advantage of investor herding by leading the pack and being the first one to take the money and run. So trading momentum markets require very sophisticated uh, rules as such to address the volatility, the overcrowding, the hidden traps that reduce profits. So the basic rules that are followed by a momentum uh, investor is that selection or what equities that you choose. Two, the risk involved around the timing in opening and closing the trades. Three, entry timing means getting into the trade early. Four, position management couples with wide spreads and and your holding period. Four, position management couples with wide spreads and your holding period. And five, exit point requires consistent charting. Now, I know I said a mouthful there. So from that, you can see it's a very hands-on approach. It's not a laid-back approach like we spoke uh, about in value investing. You got to be on the ball all the time. You got to know what's happening in the markets. And if you are not somebody who's, who's willing or do not have the skill to be that kind of investor, this might not be the investment option for you. But if you're investing for a living, 
it's something that you want to do during retirement or something to you want to do to supplement your income then this is maybe something that you consider obviously it's a very labor intensive process of this type of investing it's all hands on deck when you embrace this strategy so how do you how do you select your investments here as a momentum investor one you got to choose very liquid securities when engaging in this kind of strategy all right you got to stay away from those index funds because their price swings don't accurately track the underlying indices or the futures due to the complex fund construction because they're tracking a huge a huge average of hundreds of companies so the regular funds make an excellent trading ve- vehicle but tend to grind through smaller percentage gains and losses compared with individual uh, securities so you got to seek out securities that trade more than 5 million shares per day whenever possible many popular uh, shares meet these criteria but raising financially savvy children involves teaching them a variety of skills from budgeting to planning to earning and saving besides giving them an understanding of the value of a rand it prepares them for real world finances financial literacy is a vital skill and it is never too early to teach your kids about money many parents wonder how they can teach their kids about money and where to find age appropriate resources you can now purchase the financial literacy for kids workbook which is aimed at primary school kids it's now available at www.financiallyfabulousfemales.com this workbook provides you with 12 lessons activities lesson plans discussion points and quizzes that you can use to test your kids knowledge shop now at www.financiallyfabulousfemales.com like what you hear so far make sure you never miss a show by subscribing on apple podcasts spotify or tuned in now back to the show so momentum investors have to keep watch for the flavor of the day that's in inverted commas you got to you got to be aware of those kind of uh, securities when you're investing is a particular favorite for the day you got to do your analysis to know uh, is this something that you should be investing in the best momentum trades come when a news share hits triggering rapid movement from one price level to another and in turn this sets off a buying or selling signals from very observant players who jump in and are rewarded with instant profits Another batch of momentum uh, capital enters as the trade evolves generating counter swings that shakes out weak hands. So the early positions offer a great reward if you are able to get in there early while if you slow to react uh it could be detrimental to your investment strategy. You also have to have your thresholds in place at what point do you enter uh at what point do you do you exit so I mean you, it, this is a very analytical approach right here. Some of the benefits of momentum investing is that you really do have a pr- potential for high profits over a very short period of time. There are lucrative profits to be made with this type of investment strategy. For example, if you buy a share that grows from let's say 50 rand to 75 rand based on uh, an overly positive uh, analyst report and then you sell at a profit of 50% before the share price corrects itself. you've made a 50% return in a matter of days or even weeks over time the profit potential increases using the momentum investing strategy can be staggeringly large so obviously it's not something for a new investor <laughs> all right i mean if you're willing to learn you got to put some uh, money in the game and willing to take the losses to try out this ki- this kind of investment strategy you're very much welcome to do so but remember there's always a learning curve and depending on how sharp you are with your financial analysis um you can p- possibly get onto this pretty quickly but it's a very tempting thing those those high returns in a very short period of time is extremely tempting the idea of momentum investing is built around chasing performance however momentum investors do this in a very systematic way but includes a specific buying point and a selling point like i said you got to have those thresholds in place um, and you need to know that and you got to be on the ball all the time so rather to be controlled by emotions to how you react to the various uh, share prices like many investors are momentum investors seek to take advantage of the changes in the stock price caused by the 
emotional invest- investors. So some of the downsides of momentum investing is that there's a high turnover and it can be expensive in terms of fees because of the frequent trades. Even though low-cost brokers are slowly putting an end to the problem of high fees, so also very time in, in it's also very time intensive because you have to be on the ball all the time. You got to be monitoring the markets. You got to be knowing your numbers. Sometimes you know every hour you got to be checking on things, and because you are dealing with shares that will crest and go down again, uh, you need to jump in at jump in early and get out really fast. Which means watching all the time. Momentum investors work best in a bull market, meaning when the price of the shares are increasing, when things are on the up and up, because of the various herd mentality that had happens when the market is in a bull position. But when things are dropping, when it's a bear market, the margin for profit on momentum investing shrinks in accordance with the increased investor caution. So, will this work for you? Well, I don't know. Momentum investing can work, but. It may not be practical for everybody. For me, I wouldn't. I don't have the time, or the energy, or the skill to be checking on my investments every hour. I'd be lucky to check them every week. So for me, the growth or even the value investing is is a better space for me as compared to the momentum investing uh, approach. But this could work for you I, if you've been doing this. So if you want to learn more about this, then yeah, you got to have more skin in the game, and I guess it's more hands-on experience, and you got to have some kind of formal training in terms of the analysis that needs to happen at this kind of level. So the bottom line is that this is not for everybody, but it can lead to some very impressive returns if you know how to handle this type of strategy properly, and if you take the time to learn. All right, so that's it on this type of investment strategy. Next week we're closing things off on the. Uh, investment strategy sector, just for the time being. And Wealth Insiders, you can check out uh, the exclusive membership platform. Our training on value investing is up and running, so you can get going with that training and try your hands at being a more active investor and growing your portfolio that way. All right, so that's it for me on this episode of the Wealth Nation podcast. I will catch you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to visit our website at www.financiallyfabulousfemales.com and sign up for our free investment masterclass.